Welcome to the tutorial about using FBX in Godot. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Luckily, the process is super simple, so it'll be a quick tutorial. Also, my friends from Polyperfect uh, provided me with an asset pack because uh, the idea for the tutorial was actually from them. They, they wanted uh, to know whether they could use their FBX files in Godot without an issue. And I said I'd take a look at it and get back to them. Now, I did get back to them saying that it's actually super easy and that, you know, uh, that that works. And they asked me whether I'd make a tutorial for it. Full disclosure, uh, they provided me with the entire asset pack, which is fantastic because as you can see, it's massive. It's got everything. Um, it is a little over a hundred dollars, I think. Um, but uh, considering the amount of assets in there, I think that's well worth it. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is, you know, open up Unity. Well, we go over to the package manager. Um, there you will find your low poly ultimate pack and you just want to install it in your project. Download it, get in there, make sure that gets imported. I'll speed this part of the video up a little bit and um, yep, there we are. Okay, good, good. Now, um, open that folder up in your file browser just to make sure that everything went smoothly and you do have those files. We will only need two things from here, the textures and the models. Uh, make sure that you grab the T variant models, otherwise it's not going to be that easy. Now on the Godot side, which is where we are now, we only need to do four things and they're very straightforward. Thing number one is copying the textures, then we set the default for importing scenes, three is copy the FBX files, and lastly we just set up the material. From there on out it's just using the assets, it is very straightforward. So thing number one, open up the folder, copy the textures into your Godot project by drag and dropping it into a folder that you want. As you can see I only have a very basic scene set up over here, nothing fancy. Uh, nothing that you would get outside of just creating a base project. Now let's change the default settings for importing scenes. You can find those settings in project settings, import defaults, and here what you want to select is scene. Scene is what is used for any 3D model that you are importing. Here you're basically looking for two things. You want to make sure that the importer is UFBX, that one works really, really well. And then it, under materials, we're looking for extract once. There are three options. Zero is keep internal, one is extract once, and two is extract and override. Um, extract once means that it's not going to get overridden by every single other export or whenever you're re-importing it again. Very useful. So once you've made sure that it's extract once, hit save and close. And now we're ready to import the models. In the folder of the ultimate pack, double click the T variant, meshes on the T as well, and right here is, you know, you grab whatever you need. You could just import all of these at the same time if you wanted. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use the pirates. The pirates part of the pack. Drag and drop it into Godot, and it's going to import all of them. Now, what you will have noticed that has happened is the import created a single material. This is the fourth step. We just set up that material. Albedo, well, we know what to do with that one, right? Using quick load, we can quickly see all of the textures in the project and put the Atlas Gradient Albedo in there. Emission is pretty straightforward as well. We use Emission. That is everything that is there to it. The material is set up, all of those models are using that material, meaning that those models can now be dragged and dropped into your scenes and used. And you use them just like you would any other 3D model in Godot. Now here I spent a little bit of time to create a little bit of a scene. Eventually I turned it into a sea-like, water-like thing with the ships. But I, you know, it, it all started with me wanting to mess about with uh, visualizing a ship ramming into another ship. But that's about it, peeps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope that this tutorial mainly shows just how straightforward using this is. And again, I'd like to recommend the pack. Uh, this is not because it's a sponsored video, but the pack really is uh, well done. There's uh, thousands of models. And the T variant in those models also means that, as you could see over here, it's very easy to set up. So if you're looking for a pack with a lot of models, 
wide variety and also a pack that you can easily use in Godot, this is most likely going to be a very good option.